Good Soapy Morning. I hope you're having a wonderful Wednesday. I am. <laughs> we had a little bit of a rain. We sure need more, and it looks like we're going to get it, too. Unfortunately, it comes at the expense of so many folks uh, down on the coast, so we sure hope that they make it through this okay. What I'm making today is a whipped orange soap, frosting, whatever. <laughs> this is a modification of some other recipes that some other soapers have made. The difference is some of them use things like horse wash in their formulations. I'm not kidding. <laughs> Which is basically a sodium lauryl sulfate. Uh, some of them use, well, there are just several products out there, and I can't use these on my skin. So I've kind of modified. So now I'm not going to give you my recipe yet because it's still under development. Several recipes call for eggs. I'm using Bob's Red Mill Egg Substitute which is basically potato starch and a few other ingredients. Very safe. This is flaxseed gel that I've made myself. And if you look at my hair gel video, you'll see how I make this. And the reason why I use an egg substitute here is because I don't want to have to add a preservative. I'm trying to make this as safe as possible, but that's also why it doesn't come out maybe as wonderful as some other makers, but this is Patrick's version. Now what I want to say is I have purchased recipes from three different people. I paid for them with my own money. And so I cannot release their recipes. So that's why I decided to make my own. I want to make one that I can share with you all that is more along the lines of something that I would use. Um, they make great products. And for most of the population, they're probably great. But for those of us with sensitive skins, I wanted something that might work more for the rest of us. And that's what this is. That's just cornstarch there. Uh, but I wanted to get this just right before I release it to you all. And I think that that's only fair. I don't want to give you a recipe of something that you're going to make and then you just get something you're not happy with. I want you to be happy with whatever you make. And I want it to be safe for you too. So this took a lot of experimentation. I have worked on this for a couple of weeks and I'm still not quite there yet, but it's very close. And you'll be the judge of that. The only essential oil here is orange. I wanted it to have a color that would kind of accentuate that. So I used turmeric. And actually turmeric is supposed to be great for our skin too. So the idea is, is this is something you can pipe onto your soaps or in a jar, which is what I do, so that it can be used as kind of like a whipped quote unquote soap, which I will demonstrate at the end here as well. But I have high hopes for this and I'm gonna keep working on it. So in essence, what we have here is a pipeable concoction that is soap-like. So you could use this as a topping on your soaps, but it's dry. it takes a while, it really does, for it to dry and set up. But if you keep it in a jar with a lid, it makes a terrific whipped soap. But as I'm about to show you, it has limitations because it doesn't have all those emulsifiers and other chemicals that other soaps have in it. It's not going to be that sudsy. 
it is more creamy. That's the flaxseed oil. So it makes it more of a creamy soap. But what I keep calling it a soap. It's not truly a soap. There is no lye and there is no oil in this. <laughs> so it's not soap. It's just a, we'll call it a cleanser. And because of the, oh, I didn't tell you, this has a little bit of orange peel in it as well. So it's slightly exfoliating too. It left my hands squeaky clean. It really did. My hands came out very clean and I was very surprised <laughs> because they squeaked. It really did clean them that well. Now, of course, they're not going to be moisturized because they are so clean. Uh, so I immediately dried off and put on some hand moisturizer. But that's the test. I will keep working on this and I'll share with you what I come up with. Thanks everyone. Have a great day. Goodbye.